His tail is crafty and his eyes are pure. We think he's a beaver, but he's not quite sure. Severely depressed and he thinks he's a bore. And now he's crying on the bathroom floor. But the question is, does it even matter? Because now you're watching Chip Chatter. Hello and welcome back to Chip Chatter. Last episode we learned that Chip's a Pisces, a natural therapist. Now it's time for another therapy session with Chip. So Chip, tell me about your childhood. Well, when I was a little bitty beaver, or whatever I was as a baby, I would sit and talk to the produce in Walgreens. They were my only friends. What did you talk about? My hopes and dreams. I want to be an aircraft designer and fly the jets I create. But I can't fly because I don't have hands. Oh, I didn't realize that at the time, though. My friends Bob the Cucumber and Larry the Tomato wanted to be the faces of an American Christian computer-generated musical children's animation and Christian media franchise. What about your family, Chip? Where were they? some NyQuil, and they never came back. <laughs> Let's talk about friends, Chip. You say you don't have any? We interrupt your program to inform you that our high quality, low quality production was unable to come up with enough bribe money to get permission to film anywhere. So we will instead deliver the rest of the flashback through use of the popular storytelling staple of tell, don't show. So enjoy this interview. So tell us about the first time you met Chip. Ah, uh, you see, so I work as an art restorationist, right? That's my job. So I, you know, get around to different museums and art stuff and seeing what needs to be restored, you know? And there was one day that uh, Carmel, uh, you know Carmel Big Bear? I don't know, maybe you don't, but so he, uh, he, he, he was working on this uh, minimalist avant-garde showcase. So he had this minimalist avant-garde art showcase going on. And, you know, I was there checking it out, like it's art and, you know, maybe it needs to be restored. And, um, and, and Chip was there and he was standing in front of a, a nice piece of minimalist avant-garde art. It was a, a painting, I believe. And, and, and so I said hi. I was like, yeah, there's a beaver in front of my art. Hi. And uh, he, he just cried at me. And, yeah, that, that was when we first met. Did you ever see him again after that day? Oh well, yeah, here and there, you know, we would we would walk by each other and you know nod a little bit. I would wave a paw, but you know, Chip doesn't have any of those, so we didn't do that. Um, yeah, we, we at the art show here and there. Yep. And did you consider yourself to be his friend? That's that's not really a tough question. Not really. I mean. We, all we said was hi and, and, and maybe like yeah every once in a while, but like I didn't hate the guy, but I didn't really know him either, you know. So, tell us about that day with the trolley. It was a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 
I was walking around town, coming back from my weekly theater connection exercises in the woods. I went and gnawed on some logs to see if I felt anything, but to be honest, I would rather chew on sticks. Anyways, I was walking, I saw my friend Frank watching the trolley tracks. The track was splitting in two, and on one side there was a bear who got his bow tie stuck on the rail. On the other, there were five bunnies. <clears throat> I don't think they were stuck, but they just weren't paying attention. They couldn't see that the trolley was coming towards them. But Frank, Frank could see that the trolley couldn't stop. And as you know, an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by another force. And Frank, Frank was that force. That was the last I saw of my best acquaintance, Frank. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs> and we're very sorry for your loss. <laughs> and end episode. Thanks for watching Chip Chatter. All right, so how you doing, Knarf? My name's not Knarf. It's Frank. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it was Knarf. No, it's Frank. Really? Are you oh, sure? It's Are you sure about okay, that? we need to put a pause on this conversation. Get it? Oh, pause. nice. That was a okay. good one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Okay, and let's get back to, to the scripting. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, buddy. You, you want to let me handle that? Are are you saying you don't like my typing? No, it's just you know you know your paws are a little inaccurate. And mine are. Oh, that was exactly what I wanted to say. Really? Club yeah. Club yeah, that's how you say that. Are you sure about that? Yeah. All right. Oh well, well, we can we can keep that in the episode. Okay, uh, so whose whose line is that? Oh, well, that'll be yours, buddy. Oh, my line. Yeah. <clears throat> so I get to say Club Begum? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll yeah. just. Put your name yeah, in there. Yeah, my name should be there, if that's my line. Yeah. <clears throat> there you Clubigum. go. Clubigum. Clubigum. Good job. Clubigum.